Level by Level Gaming, and I just wanted to take a few minutes today to show this little Raspberry Pi box here um, running on a Xbox 360 controller. So if you watch this channel, you know I typically do the arcade builds. Um, I do the fight sticks, the full stand-ups, tabletops, but I do have a love for old consoles, and um, sometimes you just want a little small box that you can plug up to your TV and you can get your old school console fix and not necessarily have the joysticks and the buttons and everything like that. Now, um, one of the upsides to something like this and doing the controller, not just the size of the machine, um, the cost of having to build something like that, the time it takes to build it is something just small and simple like this hooked up to your TV, running it with a controller works really good for consoles because especially when you get up into your PlayStation era, you've got to have enough buttons to cover your trigger buttons, your shoulder buttons and stuff like that. And with a six button joystick arcade, some of that console gaming doesn't translate the best. I enjoy that stuff. Um, but like I said, sometimes you just want to want to get a console fix with a controller. And here we go. I just put this thing together and put a few games on here just to test it out. Now, just because it is running with a controller doesn't mean you can't get your arcade games. And that's where MAME comes in. So with MAME, you've got like all your old school arcade games. Um, I was playing Pac-Man. So let's just run some Pac-Man here. Hello everybody, I'm in my living room. You can see me sitting on my coffee table here so I can be straight on with the TV and not on the couch where I'm off to the side there. Uh, we're gonna hit select and that gives you a coin. You hit start and that runs the game. Doing this one hand, it's not going to go very well. And looking through the viewfinder where there's like a delay. But anyways, there you go. You can see it works. Now, if you hit start, select at the same time here, it'll kick it back and you can find another game to play. You can go back. Um, we got the Atari games. Hit the wrong button. You got the Atari games. Um... And the cool thing about each one of these sections, I mean, like I said, there's just a ton of games. But if you highlight something, let's say you highlighted Donkey Kong here. In a few seconds, it'll actually start playing a video of the game and you can actually see what you're getting. Um, especially if it's a game you don't recognize and you don't know what, you know, you, what you're going to be playing. Um, let's go back. Here's the PC Engine. Now I'm going to be going really fast here because this isn't a super long video. But... PC Engine was the TurboGrafx-16. Um, Bonk's Adventures were games that were pretty popular for this system. Um, got Nintendo. Uh, I was playing some Punch-Out. So not only does it have a little tile that comes up and shows you the game. Um, let's just go with some Mario. I was right there. Why'd I go down? Um, maybe it's under Super Mario. Car S, there we go. All right, so let's say you just want to play some Mario. Another thing I like about this is the original consoles had a very small square screen and the aspect ratio wouldn't be right. So rather than them trying to stretch it out where it looks funky, uh, they put in the where the black bars would be on the side, they put this little retro Nintendo uh, template around it and frame it out like you're looking at an old school TV. And I really like that. So that would be some Mario here. One handed, I'm probably going to get killed by the first Goomba. Oh, I missed him. All right. All right, so you get the gist. Hit start, select. Um, let's go back. 
So you got your Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance. They all have the same menu system there. Your Mega Drive would be like your uh, Sega Genesis, and Sega Genesis wouldn't be complete without some Sonic the Hedgehog. So let's hit up some Sonic. back so usually a is selecting something and b is back it's pretty simple um neo geo sega 32x now playstation what i was talking about i only put a couple games on here but playstation is one of those things where you ha would have a like shoulder buttons and trigger buttons and a classic controller like the old school controllers just wouldn't have enough buttons for you to be able to do everything you need so having this wired xbox 360 controller makes playstation um possible or even doing a full-on arcade joystick type thing with only six buttons doesn't cover everything you need it's really hard and even if you did a ton of buttons your hand the way your hands work on a controller is more intuitive pulling triggers than hitting, uh, trying to go across eight different buttons. So there is some PlayStation for you. Um, really just gonna build this one up with a lot more PlayStation games. I just put a couple on here. Adventures of Lomax is one of those classic uh, side-scrolling um, platformers. So I really wanted to play that to test this, this game. So or to test this system. So there you go. Adventures of Lomax. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and exit out here. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Like I said, um, sometimes you just want a little small box that you plug your controllers into the front here. You plug your HDMI and your power into, and you're off to the races. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit that like button, do so. Subscribe. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think.